talking about another horrible form of humiliation, and you've mentioned regarding democracy, two interesting themes, dis being descendant and also control. Your great-great-grandmother, Zena, she gave birth to five children with slave owners. Do you find it a paradox of many African Americans, such as yourself, that have slave owner blood without your control or anything, yeah. that you have slave owner blood? It's just a fact of, uh, mm -hmm. that, that derives from our birth defect of slavery. Mm -hmm. uh, America was born with birth defect. And uh, it, the, the reason that I like that term is it marks you forever, but you can overcome it. Mm -hmm. And that's how I see our journey. Uh, my great-great-grandmother, Zena, uh, it was five different kids, five different slave owners. I can't imagine how she managed to keep them together and keep the family history uh, alive. Um, but it just reminds us that we actually, uh, blacks and whites, are one people. I, I'm not actually as fond of the term African-American because it mimics a, a, an immigration story. And uh, we weren't immigrants. Uh, we were slaves who were brought here. And by the way, one of the foundational, therefore, populations of the founding of America, 1613. So uh, black and white says it kind of to me. We came here as Africans and Europeans and built this country together, uh, some of us in chains. And so uh, it's, a, it's a big part of our history. We still have trouble seeing each other, uh, we're never, I think we're never going to be colorblind, at least not in my generation. Uh, but we still see something in each other. We make assumptions about each other based on color, less than we once did, but it's still something that's hard to overcome. 